power tools use many bearings to allow various components to rotate. Over time, a ball bearing will wear and begin to fail. A bearing that is failing will usually give warning, often with a squeaking or a squealing sound. Replacing a ball bearing is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soto. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the rear housing from the grinder. Now I have access to the brushes and brush springs. I'll pull the springs away from the brushes. And pull the brush back away from the armature. Next I'll separate the gear housing from the motor housing. And I'll separate the armature from the field. Next I'll remove the nut at the end of the armature shaft. And now I can remove the spiral gear as well as the lock spring. Next I'll remove the retaining ring from the shaft. Now remove the armature shaft from the bearing. To do that, I'll place the housing over the vise jaws. And I'll tap the shaft away from the bearing with a rubber mallet. Now I can remove the bearing. I'll be careful to not lose the washer that fits between the housing and the armature. I'll place the housing back over the vise jaws with the bearing pointing down. And I'll use a socket that has a diameter about the same as the inner bearing race to tap the bearing away from the housing. Now I can install the new bearing. I'll place the housing on my vise's anvil, place the new bearing onto the housing, and this time use a socket that has a diameter about the same as the outer race to tap it into place. Now I'll reinstall the washer and the bearing. I'll place the bearing back onto the spindle and use a socket to tap it into place. Now I'll reinstall the retaining ring. And now I'll reinstall the gear and spring assembly. I'll place it over the shaft and use a socket to tap it into place. And I'll reinstall the washer and the nut. Now I can reinstall the armature. I'll place the baffle back into the housing, install the armature, and the gearbox. And I'll secure the gearbox with the screws. And I'll finish by placing the springs back over the brushes 
and installing the housing. And that's all it takes to install a new ball bearing in your power tool. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.